Title, My Journey Through Darkness, Rasputin's Tale Part 1, The Mysterious Healer In the shadowy recesses of history, amidst the tumultuous era of early 20th century Russia, I, Grigory Rasputin, emerge as an enigma. My life, shrouded in mystique, bears witness to the rise and fall of empires, marked by unyielding beliefs and unparalleled controversy. Born in the rural lands of Siberia, I was destined for an extraordinary path. My humble beginnings belied the powers that lay dormant within me. As a young man, I immersed myself in the depths of spiritual knowledge, seeking enlightenment and a connection to the divine. It was through this exploration that I discovered a gift, an uncanny ability to heal the sick and alleviate suffering. News of my miraculous healing spread like wildfire, reaching the ears of the Russian royal family. Intrigued by my reputation, they summoned me to the glittering palaces of St. Petersburg, where I found myself amidst the opulence and grandeur of the Romanov dynasty. The presence of Tsar Nicholas II and his family was overwhelming, yet I remained steadfast in my purpose, to heal and bring solace to those in need. However, my power and influence soon raised eyebrows among the Russian elite. Whispers of scandal and debauchery swirled around me, painting a distorted image of a man driven by dark desires. But let me tell you, those rumors were but fabrications, woven by those threatened by the enigmatic forces that guided my hand. As the royal family's trust in me grew, I found myself at the heart of a nation on the brink of chaos. In the midst of World War I and political unrest, my counsel became sought after by both the Tsar and Serena. They turned to me for guidance, viewing me as a spiritual advisor, unaware of the fateful consequences that lay ahead. Part 2. The Fall of the Mad Monk The road to my tragic demise was paved with treachery and betrayal. The whispers of my enemies grew louder, painting me as a sinister puppeteer, manipulating the Russian throne to suit my own ambitions. But these falsehoods could not extinguish the light of my purpose, nor break the unyielding bond I shared with the Romanovs. Dark clouds gathered over Russia, and in the midst of the turmoil, I became a symbol of both hope and fear. My detractors saw me as a threat to their own power, and they conspired to remove me from the equation. Their plots were woven with a delicate hand, casting doubt upon my loyalty and questioning my intentions. In the depths of winter, in the year 1916, their plans came to fruition. A group of conspirators lured me to the Moika Palace in St. Petersburg under the guise of a secret meeting. Little did I know that their intentions were far from benign. As I entered the palace, I could sense the air thick with ill intent. Betrayed and surrounded, I stood defiantly before my would-be assassins. They brandished their weapons, their eyes filled with a venomous hatred. Bullets pierced my body, yet I did not falter. With each wound, I could feel the life force within me ebbing away as the cold embrace of death crept ever closer. In those final moments, as darkness engulfed me, I pondered the choices that led me to this fate. I had strived to bring healing, to unite a nation in turmoil, yet I was met with suspicion and violence. My spirit lingered, for even in death my legacy lived on, forever entwined with the annals of history. And so my tale, rife with controversy and mystery, concludes. Grigory Rasputin, the enigmatic healer, met his demise, yet the questions surrounding his life and death remain. Was I a savior or a charlatan? A saint or a sinner? Perhaps the answers lie within the whispers of history, waiting to be unraveled by those who seek the truth.